How's it going everybody? It's Cloak and Dagrish here with another Entropia Universe video and today we are going to answer the number one question that everybody has when they come into Entropia Universe and that is how do you make money playing this game? Yeah, I'm gonna do this is actually gonna be a two-part series. We're gonna do part one is going to be a lot of theories and concepts that we need to discuss first before we can make money and this is also going to cover how to make money as a free-to-play player. And then in my second video, we're going to talk about how to make money by investing money into the game. And then a couple different theories about unconventional ways to make money within the game. Um, so yeah, I've, I've been thinking about making this video for quite a long time. And um, I'll probably do an update video once a year. But yeah, so we're, this is for 2020, obviously. And the first thing I really want to discuss before we get into, you know, what I could do is I could tell you, you know, hey, go here, hunt this, mine this, do this. And what's probably going to happen is you're going to go do that and you're going to lose money. And then you're going to come back to my comment section and be like, hey, Cloak, I did exactly what you told me to do. And I didn't make any ped doing that because that's that's what's happened to me. You know, I, I started this game five, six years ago just like you as a free to play player. And that was kind of my whole goal and mindset coming into this game was I wanted to play it and I wanted to overcome the challenge of making money. And I did tons and tons of re research from watching YouTube videos and reading forums and talking to different players and trying to unlock the secret that everybody s doesn't seem to know the answer to. And um, I think one of the, 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 the worst things you can do coming into this game is having that mindset of, I want to make money playing this game. That is a, an awful way to come into this game, and I'm probably going to get some hate for, for saying that. I guess what you have to really understand is that this is a game made by a video game company that is designed to make that company money, just like every other video game. The only difference between Entropia Universe and all the other video games on the market is that this game gives you the chance to get money back out of it. Now, whether it's profit or getting the money that you put back into it uh, is kind of up to you. But every other video game out there is designed to, to take your money in some shape or form. I don't care if you pay for it up front, you pay for a subscription, you pay for loot boxes, you pay for skins. Some shape or form, they're designed to take your money. Every single video game out there is designed to make money. Now, some of them, yes, you can play without putting money into it, but f the whole concept behind those is to get you to play the game for free, get you addicted to it, and then to put money into the game elsewhere. That's kind of similar to Entropia Universe. They made it free to play so that you could try the game out, get a taste for it, and see if you like it. And then if you like it, you can put money into it, just like any other video game. This game is not designed to pay you money. It's designed to take you take your money from you. And in exchange, you get to have fun playing a video game. That is the mindset you should really have going into this game. It's not that I'm going in to make money. I'm going in to have fun. And I get to choose how much I get to spend on that fun. That's that's really what it's up to. Or, or the mindset that you should have. And to be honest, you'll find it so much more enjoyable. I know I did. When I switched my mindset from... I'm here to grind and make money. I was miserable playing this game and I kept grinding and grinding and wasn't getting anywhere. And I kind of changed my mindset to, you know what? I'm just going to have fun. And if I make money playing it, great. And if I lose money, well, I'm having fun and making friends doing it. That that's what I want you to really take away from this video because so many so many people don't understand that. Now, I'm not saying that you can't make money playing this video game. It is possible to do but it is extremely difficult to do that and there's good reason for that let's go back to the concept of what this is it's a video game designed to make money look at it this way think of entropia universe as this pool this pool of money and mind arc is on one end and the player base is on the other end so mind arc is a company that needs to make money in order to keep this pool of money available to the players. 
Well, that money has to come from somewhere, and it's not going to come from MineArt. MineArt is not going to pay you to play their video game, because that is a bad business model. They won't stay in business. The game won't stay alive if they're giving away all their money. So where's that money coming from? What is ref refreshing this pool that is allowing MindArt to take money out of it to pay their employees, to keep the servers on, all that good stuff? And remember, MindArt isn't a multi-million, billion-dollar company like EA and Ubisoft and Activision and all these other big companies. They're a much smaller video game company, so they don't have resources that they can pull from uh, from other video games and such. Yes, they do have investors and stuff, uh, but even those investors are looking to pull some money out of the game as well. So the majority of the money that is going into this pool that we're all trying to get our grubby little hands into and to pull this money out of is coming from the players. The players are the ones that are putting the money into the pool and filling it so that all of us have a chance to dip our fingers back in there and take some of that out. In the process, we have fun putting our fingers in the pool, trying to pull that money out. That, that is a concept you kind of need to understand. So now think about it this way. What if every single player in Entropia Universe was free to play? Nobody put a single dollar into the game. Everybody was doing just this. They, they, they were sweaters. They made their money that way and they did trading and, and whatnot, and they didn't put any money into the game. Well, EA's got to pull money, or EA, and Mind Arc has to pull money out, again, to pay their employees, to keep the lights on, to keep the servers on, do maintenance, coding, all that stuff. So sooner or later, they would drain that pool, and they would have to shut the game down. So whether you like it or not, we can't all be free-to-play players. Until Mind Arc comes up with a way to put money into the game that doesn't directly necessarily depend on the player's pocketbook. Uh, I've talked about maybe putting ads in the game somewhere. I know a lot of people don't like that idea because they like having an ad-free game for a change. Uh, but it would allow then MindArc to give more money back to the players because then the ads are paying for the maintenance and for the players. Just an idea that I had. I have another video on that. Um, I'll try to link it in the description or I'll have a card or something for it. Uh, but just, just kind of think about that for a minute. You know, a lot of people, you know, I see in the comments and stuff, oh, my, my arc is, is robbing us. They're stealing our money. Um, stuff like that. They get very angry at the company. And I get confused by that because why are you playing video games then? Because again, Video game companies make video games to take our money and in exchange we get to play a video game for fun. Um, so if you're angry at MindArk, you probably shouldn't be playing video games at all if you're mad at manufacturers for taking our money or taking your, your money um, because that's just not how the industry works. Um, so I am a little confused about that. But anyways, um, those th theories, I, I want you to think about that while we discuss the ways that we make money because based on those theories you're going to kind of use that you're going to use that as a guideline to to make money in the video game or in entropy universe and, and we're going to talk about that the reason i'm doing a two-parter is because the a free-to-play player has an extra step compared to somebody who puts money into the game and basically as a free-to-play player uh you need to to grind out and earn some money to reinvest into the game because like like you've probably have heard, it takes money to make money. And in Tropia Universe, that is very true. So as a free-to-play player, you need to figure out how to scrape some money together to invest into the game. And that's what these players are doing right here. Now, not all of these are obviously free-to-play players. Some of them invest hundreds and thousands of dollars every year into this game. And you should thank them because they are the ones putting money into the loot pool and allowing you to take some of that money out. <clears throat> so, and thank the depositors because they're keeping this game alive and healthy. Anyways, uh, there's a couple things that you can do as a free-to-play player to earn some pad. There's not a lot, um, and I, maybe I'll miss a couple, and if you think of something, let me know down in the description below. Uh, but basically, the main one that everybody does is sweating. You go to these circles, and a bunch of people stand around one or two big mobs and they collect the sweat off of it. 
and in turn they turn around and sell that sweat for ped or they trade it for different items within the game uh, other things you can do is you can walk around and collect fruit rocks and dung they also have value uh, you can pick them up for free and you can sell and trade those they take a little bit of time to find them actually a lot of bit of time to find them um, but that is another option um, another option that isn't quite as prevalent as it used to be is you can go to the oil rigs and they spit out oil and you can pick up those oil barrels and you can turn around and sell those um, the, there was one that was near Camp Icarus. They removed that one, and now that has a, a small robot spawn on it, but that used to be a very popular one where people would just stand in line and wait for their barrel of oil to spit out, and then they'd go to the back of the line and, and wait another half hour or hour or however long it took to get their next barrel, and they'd make their money that way. So those are those are kind of your, your options. I'm sure there's maybe one or two other ways that you could think of that require zero investment, at least zero monetary investment now what it is going to require from you is time and lots and lots and lots of it the sweat market is nowhere near what it used to be uh, for good reasons a lot of things have changed in the game that have lowered the demand for sweat and therefore have dropped the prices so it's going to take a lot longer than it did a decade ago to make the same amount of money from the same amount of sweat um so yeah, as a free-to-play player, you're going to have to invest a lot of time into the game to make enough money to invest in it. Now, I'm not going to get into the investment part of it, because that's going to be my second video. But yeah, just, just know that as a free-to-play player, if you're going to make money in this game, you have to invest a lot of time. There's people on here that sweat eight hours a day, seven days a week, and they play off of that money. And... They're probably only playing off of like, I don't know, 50 pet a week or something like that. Which, it, to be fair, is is plenty of pet. And that really boils down to how much do you want to play this game. If you want to play this a game a lot, you might want to consider putting a little bit of money into it in some shape or form. Uh, just because of the amount of time it takes to gather all that sweat. Now, if, you got, if you're laid off right now because of the whole coronavirus thing or if you're just laid off in general... And you got endless amounts of time on your hand. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and sweat. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Just know that you're probably better off making money in some other way and then putting that money into the game. Uh, one of my suggestions to you is find a micro-tasking site that you like. I have um, a couple videos. I talk about Swagbucks is one that allows you can make money outside of the game while you're sweating here. It doesn't take a lot of effort to sit here and click the mouse every once in a while to start a new sweat cycle. And just auto key it. While you're doing that, you could be playing games, you could be answering surveys, you could be, uh, what else could you do on there? You could do, sh you know, if you do a lot of online shopping, you can turn in your receipts and stuff, and you can earn money that way. And then in turn, you can turn around and turn that mo um, money into PED by depositing it. And then you could then invest that money into different avenues such as your hunting you can buy deeds you could there there's so many different ways to make money in this game it, it's not even funny but for the most part you need to have a, a little little something something to start with anyways i'm kind of rambling here i'm gonna wrap this up i really have to say for this video i'm sorry it wasn't uh super exciting but there's a lot of information that i wanted to cover a lot of concepts and stuff that I wanted to explain. I wanted to make sure that you understand them and understand my logic uh, behind it. But as far as making money in this game, just realize that the money you're making isn't coming from Mind Arc. It's coming from other players. I don't want you to think that you're going to make all your money from hunting or mining or crafting. Granted, you can make money that way, but you're... The, the way you make money in the game is actually from the different services that you're going to do. And we're going to talk about that in part two, um, which will be coming probably the day after this video is out. I'm going to have them boom, boom, back to back. Um, but no, no delay in between because I'm going to shoot it right after this one. Just something to think about and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I don't want you to miss part two of this video. Turn the little notification bell on. If you like this video, 
give me a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, which I'm sure some of you are, give me a thumbs down. And let me know in the comments down below what you think of my thoughts, my theories. Do you agree? Do you disagree with me? And the only thing that I ask is uh, be, be civil, you know. You, you can explain your opinions without, you know, being a jerk about it. I'm trying to be very nice as how I present this information, but uh, if you if you got some hate coming my way, you know, just try not to hate on me too much, all right? And until uh, next time, guys, you have a good one.